Hello, everyone. My name is Dio Morales, your host of the Gold Squadron Podcast. We're coming to you live from round one of the Denver System Open. I am joined today by... Asa Graff of the Back to Dials Podcast, repping that for Denver. I'm so excited to be part of the first Denver System Open. It's, it's going to be a good time. Super excited. We're going to be here all day. I do want to give a quick apology to those of you watching live. I accidentally had the time on Central. It's defaulted to Central. We're in mountain. We're, uh-huh. It's mountain time now. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you forget it. All of you, all of you competitors coming in from the coast, it's mountain time. No, that's now. right. My bad. Sorry. I'm from Chicago. I always have it set to Central from when we're streaming and stuff, and I just... I, I, the one thing I missed. Yeah, there, hey, there's always something. Hey, you do such good work. You get a gimme every now and then. There's, there's <laughs> your, there's your one. There, there let's it is. <laughs> <laughs> but no more. No. So let's talk about what we've got on the table here as they are setting up their obstacles. On the left, there's Ken Cho of District Foundry, who is one of the sponsors of today's stream, with double Sith infiltrators Darth Maul and Count Dooku. And on the right, we have another two-ship list. Well, this is two-ship scum, Tyler Duree with Iman Azami, a ship that you don't see on the table that often, and IG-88C. So we've got two very combo-heavy lists, two very upgrade-heavy lists, two large shi- or uh, two, well, I guess one's two large ships, one's two medium ships. Yeah. We got, we got thick and thicker. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Super excited here. So those double Sith infiltrators have been making waves, but I'm more interested in talking first about this scum list. Oh, uh, yeah. We haven't we, seen too much scum out there. Absolutely not, and especially not Iman Azamine, a 98-point Iman Azamine. Tyler coming in, by the way, at 192. Yeah, and when I asked him about it, he goes, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm, like, I'm like, oh, okay. So this is purposeful. We've got two initiative, four ships on there. Iman Azamine with Juke, IGD, Proton Bombs, and Seismic Charges. Inertial dampeners and, of course, that Andrasta title. IG-88C with Juke, Advanced Sensors, Rigged Cargo Chute, Stealth Device, and IG-2000. So, of course, IG-88D allowing Emon to get the benefits of IG-88C's boosting ability, triggering that Juke while he's moving around the table. Emon able to drop a bomb wherever and whenever he wants, essentially. Now, it's not facing, he's not facing a list that's going to be, you know, getting a ton uh-huh. of multiple hits off from those bombs, but a key proton bomb in, a, in the right location could absolutely open this game up for him. Absolutely. I want to see how Tyler, like, holds on to those, right? right. Because you want to make sure you're out, you're, you've gotten through those shields before you drop those protons, if you can. Absolutely. Right? You want to make sure they're, they're as devastating as possible. Um, but I don't – it's – Playing against this uh, this small Dooku list, you kind of want to get damage as soon as possible. Yeah. <laughs> because they have so many mods. Absolutely. Oh, In my fairness goodness. to those proton bombs, I mean, he might just be tossing them out whenever he can because of how incredibly impervious to damage somebody like Count Dooku can be when you're firing at him. And he's cloaked and he's got a thousand force. Yep. It's it's a uh, it's it's a real it's a real list to be afraid of. So let's let's move over then mm-hmm. and talk about what that list is bringing to the table. Yeah. So on the left here, Ken has brought Darth Maul with hate jamming beam because it's free. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what might be relevant if he plays against phantoms. Exactly. That, that's about the only place it is. Uh, Proton torpedoes, seasoned navigator, Chancellor Palpatine, the probe droids, and hull upgrade. Uh, Palpatine basically there to say, hey, I got plus one force, and if I actually need this, uh, the stress ability of the front side, mm. you, you, you use it. Almost never do you see people actually flip over the Chancellor Palpatine. Absolutely Sidious. not, especially in a two-ship list like yeah. this. Now, what I am interested in, that stress is going to be really devastating in places to IG-88C, mm-hmm. uh, not able then, or, or turning off his very important, all-important S-loops, yes. uh, being able to get behind those Sith infiltrators because they really rely on having arc, and that's actually uh, one of the points that I wanted to bring up there. The interesting part of this list, I think, is Seasoned Navigator, which mm. is something that we don't see very mm. often, but on Darth Maul at higher initiative, making sure he's able to get his arc off and double tap every single round, I think is a very good choice by Ken. Do you remember what uh, what his bid was? It was also fairly sizable. Yeah, it, um, we can take a look right here. He is sitting at 197. Aha, uh-huh, okay. So Tyler does have the advantage here in the bid, but it's really not going to come into play. No, because Darth there. Maul being at five, he's above the other four, exactly. so he's going to be able to make that choice. So I'm going to get the stream poll up here so you guys can go ahead and choose your champion. That's always super fun to do. We've broken down the lists. Let's go ahead and give you guys your option. Let's see who wins. Twitch plays X-Wing. Who was right? (laughs) Who was wrong? That would be an incredible game to watch. (laughs) Twitch plays X-Wing on Vassal. (laughs) 
All right. Somebody with a uh, with a high powered stream should put that up. <laughs> should make that happen. I don't now. know what you're talking about. <laughs> make it a make it a, a Patreon goal. Twitch plays X Wing. We could. It's just the 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 um, the craziness of of putting that. Oh, you know what? I can make it happen. <laughs> what am I saying? What am I doing? Why am I shying away from a challenge? That's unlike you. <laughs> it is. All right. There we go. Choose one or two. Ken is one. Tyler is two. Who do you want? Who do you feel? Who do you think? Who oh, do you think pe people, people vote that way anyway, so I give uh -huh. them the option. You know what? Do it emotionally or who you actually <laughs> think will do it. Now, while we're waiting for these results to come in, there are a couple stream sponsors today, aren't there? Yes, Leon? absolutely. So I want to say a huge thank you to Curled Paw Creative. You can use their coupon code DENVER19. All the Spencers are using... Spencers, all, all the, the spon Spencers. sponsors are using Denver 19. Uh, so go ahead, use those coupon codes. Core Paw Creatives, they make awesome acrylic templates, tokens, actually those large format tokens that you see on uh, on your table right now. Those are made by Curl Paul as well as, I mean, just all the things you need. They also do custom work. Um, if, if you need tokens for X-Wing, this is where you go. Absolutely. Also want to give a shout out to District Foundry. They're sponsoring our giveaways. We'll talk more about mm -hmm. them later. And Ken Cho, in fact, is the proprietor of District Foundry on Etsy. Absolutely. Does fantastic work. I got mm -hmm. to see the foundry. Right. Yeah. There's a lot of cool stuff in there. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Like we might be getting going here in just going. a second. 160 players. Yeah, that is at capacity. There you go, baby. Any announcements? So Taking a when, listen here. Uh, when we get things started, the aisles are a little tight. Um, so if you can just make sure like your chair is not sticking out in the middle of it and stuff like that as much as you can, that will help the judges get to people quickly um, when we need to. Um, and with that, as soon as I remember how to set the tar timer going, <laughs> I will do so The uh, uh, judges today headed up by Legendary in him. Yeah, love them. Love Remembering them. how to get the timer going, and then we'll be started here. Still some growing pains with the whole technology switch, Absolutely. but it's, 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 it's part of it. Yes, it's definitely important that we have a good solution for all the largest X-Wing tournaments here. Mm -hmm. uh, and we're using Best Coast pairings today, yep. as most of the system opens have been, I believe. Yep, all of them in the United States mm -hmm. use it, and also <laughs> and Canada. And can yeah. So looking... Uh, I, just, I want to wait right, for... There it goes. Yeah. Round one starts now. There, there, there we go. We the go. timer has started. There's the handshake, and we're going to get started here. Um, the other sponsor that we have is Modest Orange Gaming. We're going to show off their box that they've uh, turned in here uh, to, to show it off. There are lots of cool different storage options uh, that are 3D printed for mass storage of ob ob objects and also transportation of yes. them in between, uh, in between events. So we've got a lot of the results in right now with 55 votes. Seems like Ken is pulling out a pretty strong lead in terms mm -hmm. of who is expecting him to pull this one out. Dion, do you agree with that assumption? I mean, having those double proton torpedo alpha strike potential seems real good. You have all the mods uh, coming in. You basically don't need to take a focus action because right. you, you just take the target lock, make sure you're in range. Um, it's going to really come down, though, to his use of Dooku and the range control there. Because if he ends up Dooku out of range and Maul is, has only one ship to shoot, um, mind you, he'd be able to shoot at both, assuming both are in range, using his ability. Right. But uh, basically, you want to make sure you can two-on-one with those torpedoes and really have somebody be behind early in the game. Absolutely. It's also it's also very important to know that all that juke coming in from Tyler's list is going to be absolute, pretty much nullified uh, by the force available to both of those ships. Um, with that said, though, hey, look at that beautiful DRK-1 probe droid. So for those of you who are not familiar with those, those um, probe droids are super awesome. Uh-oh. Got a little, little go. flash there. <laughs> um, but you can basically use those as, a, uh, as an extra ship out there that allows you to target lock and right. jam. The rules for jam and target lock still apply, so range three and, and range one for jam. But uh, really extends out your options, and that means he can get that target lock early exactly. before he even engages. Right, so we might be able to come in with a target lock focus and all of his force up, yep. maybe barrel roll to get that arc. Uh, or, as I have seen, a lot of times getting a lot of jams off mid to late game mm -hmm. can be absolutely crucial for the long-term survivability of those of those Sith infiltrators, especially if something gets behind them. Oh, uh, they're yeah. a lot stronger when they have arc on your opponent. So if you're able to jam and deny 
nice uh, modifications when you are in your weakest state. Mm -hmm. um, you can you can be very, very powerful that way. That probe droid inching its way up the edge of the board there. Needs to stay just out of range of Tyler's ships before it becomes useful. Yep. And the uh, the ship moves with a two bank, I believe, right? Two or, bank two or two straight. straight out of and that any, is any at of the, the five. And that is at the... At its initiative in the system phase. In the system phase. There it is. Almost like initiative zero. I know it moved at a weird time. All yep. Right. Count Dooku there doing a two turn up towards the top of the board, facing right off against Emon unless Emon turns in, which, in fact, he does left one hard turn down towards the bottom of the board. Of course, Emon He's wants to get yeah. that He's clear I, arc. I got a back arc, and I have bombs that come out the back arc. Yep. We're fine. This He's is fine. He's uh, turning away from that probe droid, too, so it would have to chase him if he wants to get an early target lock. Mm-hmm. Probably can take that and, you know, just, you just kind of absolutely you, you come down this way, swivel it. Little by little. And, again, its utility might not be apparent right away. Right. If we get both of those out, which I assume is what Ken's going to pop out with Maul here in just a second at the end of this round. Three hard turned, a pilot left, inching towards the center of the board. And then we'll see that probe droid probably come out three turn towards the bottom of the board as well. Get some good coverage there on both Important ships. Important to note that Maul is the one on two pegs and Dooku's the one on one. I will say, I actually brought a solution for us to mark the ships, and that there's a there's a second thing I forgot. Ah. I forgot to put it out there. We'll see, get it I for saw, the second round. I said round. you only get one there. Yeah, there you go. Two. Sorry about Strike. that. Strike. Strike. Uh -huh. Strike two. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> the next hey, the next time we get inf infiltrators on stream, we'll, we'll get those. They're very interesting ships to watch fly. Yep. They've got a lot of different things that they can do. The amount of damage that Dooku can shrug off when he is cloaked oh my goodness. is just incredible. Now, I have not I have yet to see somebody use his ability to, like, shake off a cloak and yeah. then shoot. I haven't seen anybody do that yet. I'm curious if we're going to see it this time. I, I you know... I, I think that we will because he's defending at higher initiative, mm -hmm. uh, so he'll be able to he'll be able to stay cloaked, defend against those initiative four pilots, shrug off that last one. Of course, Tyler could possibly preempt this and switch shots, but then you are spreading damage around, and that's not generally something that you want to do anyway. Agreed, agreed, agreed. All right, I'll be right back. All right, take take the wheel. Take the wheel. All right. Th now this is okay. This is my chance. <laughs> he's uh, he's going over there with uh, with colored dots. I'm assuming here to to mark those two ships. Uh, thank you everybody once again for tuning in. I am really excited to have a Denver system open here. It has been years and years since I got into the X-wing game, and this is the first major premier level event that we have here. Yeah, look at that. There's a a uh, multitude of colored dots. We've got four of those dots going down. Three of those dots going down onto Darth Maul as Ken goes ahead and sets those dials. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, Dion, but uh, is Ken using Curled Pot Creative dial covers? Yes, he is. He's not on mic yet, but yes, he is. There oh, we go. He, yes, he is. <laughs> there we go. We got some red dots out there on Maul. Absolutely. Easy, baby. Of course, he's the red one. <laughs> I was like, hmm, let's be thematic. Yep, there is that probe droid curving down to bank. Another two bank from the other probe droid. They're going right into Emon. He is now in range to get target locks. Mm -hmm. One of the things about uh, the tricky things about flying ships with rear arc is knowing when to turn away and keeping that arc on target yep. as you are, in this case, pushed down towards the bottom of the board, pushed down towards the edge. You can get caught really easily in a corner. Yes. If, if you don't pick that right turn to, to get out, you're like, wait a second, I have nowhere else to go. Yep. Or your options are very obvious. And right now, if I'm Tyler, I don't... You know, you, you don't want to bank out. No, yeah, you can't do that. You want to like fire sprays. I feel really like to be in the middle of the board. They like to right. control that where they're not super predictable. Yeah, I'm almost I'm almost wondering if he's he's going for a. Uh, uh, there comes a bomb here. We're gonna see that bomb in the system phase. Uh, Ken Ken's uh, Dooku did just decloak to uh, right. one straight forward. We have a seismic charge. It looks like coming out. Okay, so an interesting choice right there. I am not sure quite. I don't know if that's range one. We might be grabbing one, yeah. that rock there. Um, well, you know what? You may, we might be able to get a better look. Hey. Oh, it didn't switch. Oh, I know why. Oh no, I broke it. Fourth mistake. Third mistake. <laughs> <laughs> I'm oh, the, that's I'm the all worst. right. This is what I wanted to do. There we go. There we go. So there's that top-down view. That, you know, that actually looks a little bit closer that looks from closer. here, but it's still going to be a really tight fit. Uh, I might have wanted to see a proton bomb if he really wanted that extra damage. Yeah, but, it's, uh, it's close. We'll see what happens. Mm -hmm. He, 
And he's not going to be in range, obviously, of... Eh, yep. Yep. Uh, Ken still deliberating on an action there. But here we go. There's Iman correctly calling that bank in. And we have get, a get out of four town. straight... Put some space between him and that Sith Infiltrator. Uh, we might see a boost here. There it is. He just One wants to get straight. as much range as possible. Exactly. Why take damage? Not time now. That's not a favorable position for Iman to be engaging in. He's range three, mm -hmm. likely obstructed against a cloaked full force Dooku. Now he's got that boost. He's got that evade from IGC's ability. Mm -hmm. IGC himself will come just slowly up the side of that board. Yep. One straight. And with the new uh, side uh, top-down view available, it's just one of those where when it comes to range, especially on that other side of there, looking yeah. at the arcs, that's when we'll be using it. This is, honestly, just the more visually pleasing Absolutely. view. This is where we're going to be 95% of the time. Mm -hmm. So I know some people really don't like the top-down view, and I don't yeah. either. It's, it's just getting it's that so extra good information. situationally, yeah. uh, but as a main view, as we have figured out on our own stream, which yep. is why we've got mainly isometric now. Um, but... Now, do or uh, Maul moved right into the middle of those rocks. That's a mm. little bit interesting because we actually this is an interesting position for Ken to be in because we don't have a cloaked Dooku. I think he was uh, he was banking on that shot. Oh yeah. So Dooku is likely to run through that rock unless he one turns out of there. Agreed. Yeah, he's gonna probably stretch for target lock. He's got it from the, the uh, from the droid. probe droid there. It's free. Uh, we do have a question from Broken Ledge. Hi, guys. Uh, one question. Can you best explain on stream for all to appear? Juke for a noob. Okay. All righty. So we did get damage here from the seismic charge on both of the Sith infiltrators. Great seismic charge. Ended up being in range, and now we've got one shield off of both of those. It does open up their maneuver options oh, quite yeah. significantly <laughs> Thank for next you so round much. there. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like Ken is, is all right with taking that one damage now that it means that Dooku is not going to be running through that rock. Uh, what's up? I probably would. I, I mean, if you're asking me, yes, I do mind. I would mind. Okay. He's the yeah. boss, so. <laughs> <laughs> if you're asking, then yes, I would. Yes. I would mind. There's, there's <laughs> Ken looking Ken, into the camera. Ken's super happy about that rock going away. <laughs> <laughs> and yes, we're going to be live this uh, all day today and tomorrow through the final. So yes. let's go ahead and talk about Juke. Yes. Uh, the, the card reads something akin to while you perform a primary attack, if you are evading, uh, you may change one of the defender's evade results to a focus. Now, of course, that happens in your modified defending dice mm -hmm. step, so they still have the opportunity to focus it back with a focus token, calculate force or other effect. Uh, so it, it, really, it really punishes tokenless ships. And it's a Should great the, boon for ships that will e be evading. Does the droid take damage on uh, seismic charge? Uh, that's actually a very Actually, very I think they're question. talking about it right yeah. now. Yeah. Yes, it does. Yeah, it does. Okay. All right, so that droid comes off as well. Good. I mean, a, a great mm. wide-ranging seismic charge, uh, but I'm not sure that the positional advantage that it gave Ken yep. is quite worth it. Yeah, because He's, you... you you give Ken his actions next right. turn, which I think a lot of times can be more valuable than a single damage, depending mm -hmm. on the situation. Uh, the infiltrators do have the barrel. I'm curious to see how he uses the barrel roll. I know that yeah. they're red, but they can give you just some, there's some so great positioning. Yeah, there's so much space that a large ship barrel roll covers. Uh, yes, Broken Ledge, by B evading, it does mean that the ship has an evade token assigned to it. Great question. That is one of the most prevalent cards in the competitive meta today. All right, so we're looking at the table here. Mm -hmm. uh, do you think maybe he's trying to flank with IG-88? I think that's, I think that's I think what's coming, although I would have wanted to see a faster maneuver in this, uh, in this instance right here. Um, I can kind of see him trying to come. Oh, that is a little bit different from ours. Uh, I might like to see him coming across the top of that gas cloud, but, of course, he's going to have to really cook mm -hmm. it to get around there. Um, I can definitely see at this point, I don't know, maybe Iman K turning. Just trying to get yep. his arc back as IG comes around this way. Give him a cup or uh, give Ken a choice about who to chase. Uh, who oh, to run through those asteroids. Gotta, gotta talk about this. Isofan just donated four hundred dollars. Thank you, Isofan. Okay, Isofan. Well, my my 
Thank you so much. I feel like that's like all the sub goals. <laughs> well, yeah. So it was five. So hold on. It's so for every five dollars, that's a sub. So you take four hundred. You divide by five. That's eighty. So we've already hit the yeah. eighty mark. Okay, perfect. <laughs> 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 Holy crap! Thank you, Isle fan. He he is definitely our number one supporter. Thank you yep. so much for your support. You are fantastic. In anticipation of a long maneuver from Ken, there comes the second seismic charge. You know, Tyler's playing is great. Right I think there. yeah, Ken has shown that he's being aggressive, and I think Tyler's trying to play off of, of, Ty right. of Ken's aggressiveness. Mm -hmm. Let's we'll see if he calls it here. One straight, okay. Yep. Just a uh, one short bank, excuse maneuver. Me. That one bank. And he's taking that red cloak there. And I see a couple people discussing in the chat uh, Tyler having Juke on his um, on his ships. It's a bad – Juke isn't good against Ken's lists, right? right. It's, it's very right. situational. If people are having to burn their mods on offense, then uh, that's, that's when it can really, really do some great stuff uh, because you're able to – modify and evade to a focus without them having a focus right. available but because these guys Four have the force. force yeah yeah no there's this there's nothing that you can really do against those ships we got igc coming in with a one bank pilot right double calculate not a very aggressive move but uh, definitely one to sort of set up that kind of flank well, i like i like tyler's patience mm -hmm. Although I don't think that that seismic charge is going to be nearly as effective as he hoped it might be. Mm -mm. No, because I doubt that Maul gets all the way in there. If we take a look at the range, i got to fix something here on our side. This won't affect any of you guys out there. Do not do not fear. <laughs> 5K, 5K turn from Darth Maul. Going so yep. fast that he comes off his base. <laughs> Woo! That ship is so the ship's dial is so powerful because it has every single template available to it <laughs> in some way. So if it need if its base needs to be in a position, there is some way that it can get there, and that's that's one of the most powerful things that you can do. That seismic charge going off will explode the gas cloud. Uh, looks like we will not quite nick any of those infiltrators. Just going to do a quick test here, everybody. Just give me a moment. Yes, that does work. Okay. Cool. Now that we're back to dials. <laughs> hey! <laughs> <laughs> you didn't think I'd do it. Now, we're going into the planning phase. I'm gonna, yes. You know what? I'm going to start another. Recommence the planning phase. I, I'm going to start another channel, and I'm going to call it going into the planning phase. Yeah, just Or to going to planning or something, <laughs> something just to troll you. <laughs> Love it. Absolutely love it. Yes, seismic charges only do damage to obstacles, and then the obs or excuse me, explodes the obstacle, and then you measure the damage range from that obstacle. Right. And because the cloud was out, that's why uh, no damage happened. So I don't think that we're going to be seeing one of those proton bombs this round. No. Uh, I, I think that would be would be fairly unwise. They're both both still got shields, and beyond that, they just don't have a, a great. Uh, not a great position there, even with a three turn on that proton bomb. Mm -hmm. I, honestly, I honestly think if so, if he ends up tossing this out here, I think a one forward, just like it's, all right, no, fine, no damage. Yeah, I, I do definitely see the infiltrators moving down this way through the gap in those rocks because IGC is perfectly poised to be intercepted right around here. Uh, so we might see we might see Dooku coming to head that off. Um, a one or two bank is blue, and that will clear clear that stress, give him a bunch of actions. So. Tyler's positioning with IGC, I want to talk about it. So he's kind of in the 50-50 in the position about whether he's going to engage or disengage. Right. And I honestly do think it is better for him to engage right now because if he does end up trying to get away, he's, he's giving up his backside right. to Ken unless he's doing something like a sloop in the situation, which might actually not be a bad move in this spot. If you have uh, Dooku coming in here, you have maybe – I mean, this cloud's in the way. 
Uh, I mean, Iman maybe Iman, turns Iman, away. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Iman away. might be able to one turn down there, get that rear arc and chasing proton bomb set up for next round. Uh, he could always, and assuming that the infiltrators do come down this way through the rocks, he's set up for some, you know, over the next couple mm -hmm. turns to come back curving around into the back of those infiltrators as they chase IGC. Now, it's entirely possible that Ken just does not take that bait yep. and sets himself up for, you know, either really flexible maneuvers by going very slowly um, or does come in hard onto Iman here. That's that's also a very real possibility. Yep, I'm going to go ahead and close down the stream poll. Looks like we're going to be ending it with Ken ahead 73% to 26. We'll see how, uh, how that shakes out. So it looks like Ken has decided, and here we go. We're going to get those... Um, the, the one remaining probe droid. The one remaining probe droid is coming around town. Yep, get the some fact coverage that, on that backside of the The board. fact that you have the five points on it really gives you tons of yeah. options. I, I really like it. And there's a one bank from Dooku clearing Go that stress. Going into the gap there, ready to intercept. Yep. Ken perhaps debating, because uh, he, he might not even have a shot if nobody fires at him. Yep. He is still cloaked there. And he does have a target lock on Iman right now. He's, he's number two. He's just going to go ahead and take that focus, see what comes his way. IG88C just doing a one bang. One. I mean, that's about as non-committal as you can get. In fairness... Maybe He's not in any danger at the moment, right? Because at, right. as Dooku, Dooku is can't facing, fire. Uh, it was an advanced, advanced sensor boost. boost, and then here's an the S loop. loop. There it is. Now, he doesn't get the evade on that boost because you can only do one right. action. It does specifically say on advanced sensors, mm -hmm. single action. Okay, and we've got a backwards IGC. Yep. <laughs> there it is. There, there it is. is. There you go, Ken. Team work. Yes. And Iman seems to be gunning it here. Four straight. Four straight. Whoosh. So Iman doesn't have a shot currently. Could get one by boosting mm -hmm. to the left, but I'm not sure if that's the right call here. Starting to head in no, that, into I don't that think corner. So. I actually think the right call is probably a boost right. Yep. Or, or straight. straight. I mean, yeah. that, that works. Just that works. Continuing too. That, that motion around mm -hmm. the board. Yep, and now if we see Maul starting to come down into the center instead of going out to head that off, mm -hmm. then Tyler could be in a really exceptional position actually right here. Agreed. And he is going towards the, towards the bottom of the board. He could still barrel, barrel roll. Yep. Mm -hmm. If I was Ken, I would actually think that this is an opportune moment to do just that I, barrel roll to pilot right up towards the top of that board. Looks, I think he has the one straight in his hand right now. Yep. He's thinking about it. He's looking at the. He's looking at going here, going to mm -hmm. the left I mean, right now. I, I, I think I, I kind of want to go, go that way. Yeah. The top there. Yep. Because then you can come down over the top of that rock. Agreed. Rather than having to come back towards the center. Uh, Maul's maneuvering options are far more open across, uh, up towards the top of that board. Uh, besides, that just heads off Iman. He can't keep running around the edge. He might be hesitant. I'm just kind of thinking, like, why would he be hesitant to go that way? And might be he's might be afraid of some uh, some self collisions if I, I, if you have Dooku coming this way. But you have true, all the mods you got already, the lock right? You need on Iman. You've exactly. Got your force. Like he's he's in the, he's in the position where he doesn't really need to do that. Mm -hmm. And, and there's there the it barrel is. roll, red barrel roll to pilot right. Now, if you don't know how to perform a barrel roll, I would suggest looking up those X-Wing quick tips Indeed. on how to barrel roll, especially those medium-based ships. There's so many people that, who are doing it wrong. That me out so much so when I saw that they wrong. could move yeah. outside, you know, off the confines of that base. Yep. That's just a, the first edition rule that was ingrained in my head so hard. But it does mean that every base moves a half base length either forward or backward. Uh, no, so no. The, the small base is only a quarter. Thank you. Thank you, yes. Yeah, the, half the medium is, and large have been unified yeah. with that rule. So that you don't have some weird, you know, weird movement options.
And here's the stretch for target lock. Or, sorry, it, uh, I can't target lock. He barrel rolled Dion yep. for the... Um, checking for the pro. Checking for the pro. Those. And Iman... It looks like we might be just it's out. So it's so close. That, that looks out to me, but I am not at the table. Now it looks like something got bumped a little bit. Mm -hmm. Ken may be looking for a judge. Sounds like they're going to be calling a judge over, yep. calling a judge over for that arc. Now, if you uh, if you are Tyler and you have that arc there on the Count Duco, you gonna yep. take that shot? Yeah. Why not? Oh, because he's then because then he decloaks. He can then fire a proton torpedo back at you. This is very true. And it looks like John Conley with his transparent and extended judge rulers. So I think uh, I think you saw it, said it was in range. Here we go. So two hits in on an eyeball. Mm -hmm. So two. Ken does have focus, so Juke is not going to do anything. Yep. He's going to be at four because of the cloak. Ken's double checking a couple things, making sure he's got all his triggers right. And there's absolutely two. plenty. Dooku will take no damage from that shot. Spending a force to re-up that juke. That juked die. Yep, he's keeping the focus. I think he might be uh, He's going to use that the ability. Torpedo. Yep. Spending another force right there to get rid of that blue cloak token. There it is. I said I'd never seen anybody do it. Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. I mean, yeah, he, he's absolutely perfectly poised to use that the uh, initiative differences here to his advantage. All right, here we go. Four die proton torpedo. Four dice. He's got the lock and a focus. Ooh, oh, bad that's a shot. rough Good roll. Good thing he's got both he's of those got, mods. That's right. <laughs> there, there it is. is. There it is. One of those turns to a crit. That focus for three hits and one crit coming into Iman Azmi. Somewhere around there. There it is. Mon's got two greens, rolls one, spend that evade token, takes, takes two. two damage. See, I'm still internally debating there if that was the right call for, for Tyler to make. He'd done no damage mm -hmm. to uh, Dooku. Now here's Dooku recloaking back up again. Yep. Uh, he's done no damage to Dooku. He has taken a proton torpedo in return. I, I'm still not sure if that was sort of the right call. Well, so... Could you could you debate maybe? Now, if you look at Ken's side, he is he's out of force. Right, force is gone. Could maybe getting rid of those resources be worth the cost of a couple damage? I, I don't think so. I mean, he's got hate. You know, next turn he, he's going to regen one back up. That's all he needs to take just maybe two damage from what that uh, you know from the shots that would come in back into him next turn. All that force is going to be right back. Yep, and he'll get his target lock back, be able to fire that second torpedo. Uh, from my own experience playing Dooku, if your opponent keeps ignoring him and doesn't let you do any of the things that he's capable of, then he can be neutered for a a large portion of the game. Yep, um, which can really put you ahead. And I think that's what Tyler wants to do right now. Um, but that, that, that shot, I think, put him a little bit behind. All right. We'll be right back. We just got to clean up. Got to clean up the lock. Yeah. That's all. Be right back. Uh, Dion. Red cloak as well. Thank you, Eagle T. Duke, who should be stressed at this at this point. I can't take full credit for that. That was chat. Yeah. <laughs> Ken Show, they're putting the stress out. Yep. It's all love. And it's important that we do it early because that's exactly. like, oh, I'm not stressed. Let me look at my dial. Oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> and the same thing for Tyler. Oh, you were uh -huh. stressed? So. 
Rub it out. And here at the System Opens, I do work very closely with Cascade. I have the permission to go up to the table. If you're wondering how, how all this right. works. Um, so, obviously stuff like that, we try to take care of it when we can. Absolutely. Um, okay, so now as we go back to dials for this next round. You say that so well. I do. It's like it's you've said it a lot. Years and years and years of practice. <laughs> As we commence the next planning phase here, <laughs> uh, are we going to see a move to head off Iman as he goes this way from both those infiltrators? Or yeah. do you think that they're mostly going to come back down? Um, I mean... It's a tough call I, because I, if Dooku does move this way, then IGC is in a great position behind him. And as we discussed at the beginning of the game, that's exactly where you don't want the opposing ship as Dooku. Mm -hmm. Everything works in arc. Yeah, so. You want to keep him as, as in front as possible. And this is where I was talking about the, the force kind of having that, all that depleted right now might come back to bite Ken. I know, yeah, he has hate, but if, for instance, he has to use it on defense and he has nothing for offense... Then whatever, because even if he does do something like a one bank trying to continue to chase after Iman, um, he's going to end up, he might end up clipping this. You don't end up with any mods. Right. Though I guess he does have the uh, the cloak, so he's going to get that one forward. I'm, assu I'm assuming is. he's doing a one forward. Yep, there it is. There's the, uh, the one forward D cloak. He could be coming in for a block too. Like that's, that's also very true. entirely possible. Three bank here? Exactly. Three bank, or even, I mean, even the three turn. Something like that. Uh, although that limits his options next round, but just something to get out in front of Iman. Yeah. With Maul taking perhaps a three bank down yeah. there just to get or right Or maybe even the just the one, the one bank to get get rid of the stress. Mm -hmm. he, he does have a lot of options. Again, mm -hmm. those infiltrator tiles are extraordinarily open. Yep. He's actually uh, taking the jam from the scimitar decloak. He's, there uh, it is. Andrasta is in bullseye. Uh, that's something that I actually very rarely yeah, see. Yeah, it's just the bigger the bigger bases. You're going to be able exactly. to get it more. Exactly. Uh, so, yes, uh, the chat says Jam is range one. However, Andrasta specify or uh, sorry, Scimitar specifies a target in your bullseye, in your bullseye is yep. assigned a Jam token. Not necessarily that you perform the Jam action. So yep. that is something that is legal. And speaking of legal, here comes the here Proton we go. Bomb. So I saw a couple people like, oh, he missed the uh, his bomb. Like, he didn't. Remember, we're still in the system phase. The decloak happens first. We're going in initiative order, right? Correct. Yeah, so initiative zero for that droid. Initiative three for, for Dooku, Dooku. And then, and then four then. for Iman. Yeah, and if Maul had anything to do. All right, there's, in fact, the two bank. If Iman goes fast, this gets right in behind him. If Iman goes slow, this is an excellent block. Two bank. Is that a blue on it the is. scimitars? There it is. Because that, that dial is just bonkers. It's really good. All right, Ken, looking at his options now. A couple people asking about Scimitar. Go ahead and look up that Scimitar guy, uh, card, guys. Uh, it's just if you are in the bullseye, you receive a jam. It's not do, it's not perform a jam action, right. and which is different. Right, extends out to range three. Correct. And we're going to see the target lock reacquired. Mm -hmm. I like Iman it. Azamine. Iman on Azamine. <laughs> Azamine doing your cowboy commercials Indeed. again. There's a 4K. Oh, right. Iman. That's going to be a range one shot they're going to be trading. Mm -hmm. That's actually, uh, as far as things go, a great place for Iman to be. Although, that looks like it might just be right out of range one. That's true. Proton That's torpedo. There's a second torpedo. Yeah. At least he doesn't have any mods anyway, so the jam doesn't really, yep. and isn't both, really a factor. Um, to note, both of the seismic charges on Iman were already spent. Yep. So that's why he didn't have that available to him. Is this a block? I think that ooh, is a one straight medium block. bases. Just yeah, that's right a block. against the side of Count Dooku there. Remind me to refocus that top camera. When, Mega uh, Silver, how done. come Dooku moved first here? Uh, Dooku is at initiative three. Yep. And the other, the scum ships are at initiative yep. four. That's the word that I was looking for. Uh, somebody in the chat did just point out that he did forget inertial dampeners right there. That would have been a great time Ooh, to use it. Ooh, for Tyler, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's uh, that's Marcel. Marcel, our very own Marcel Manzano. 
Gold Squadron Podcast. Now this is what exa exactly what I was afraid of for Port Emon. We've got both of those Sith Infiltrators coming in fully modded with target locks. Yeah, that's... Uh, is it in range? It's close. Yeah, one, two, I think it is. I mean, if he, if he doesn't have that, he's got a fairly nice shot on IG. Or a shot, at the very least. Uh, Darth Maul firing first. That proton bomb going off, it will hit mm. nobody. Misses. An unfortunate Oof. miss. And, and that's that. in range. That's in range. We got a proton torpedo coming in from Darth Maul. Here we go. Four dice coming in. That's, that's a good way to start. Better, yep. Spend that lock. Reroll the only non-painted die. Got and it. Comes two crits. That's Three crits triple crits. Hit. That is very, very unfortunate if Iman rolls less than two evades. He's got one. He's got one. Yep. So there's one. It's going to be two shields and, and a one crit. One crit onto the hull. We'll listen for uh, what that crit is here in a minute. Fuel leak. That is incredibly that, unfortunate. That is the. There's, this is the worst spot to have it. Absolutely. The there's first a second crit. proton <laughs> torpedo coming in, and that's going to trigger the fuel leak. Yep. Poor Iman. Poor, poor, poor Iman. Uh, there's range two through the rock with Darth Maul's second shot. Yep. Using the force, he has to spend, spend two force to perform a second attack on not the same ship, assuming he didn't hit it, mm -hmm. and. He's got He's the force. He's just going to dump them all. Three more hits. There it is. IG is range two obstructed. So he's got the stealth device. He has that gas cloud obstruction. Uh, but that's not going to be enough. We got one change one gets from the shifted. gas cloud. One and damage will come through. Knock that stealth device off. Some great shooting from Darth Maul. And an excellent block from Dooku preventing him from getting any actions to modify those defense dice. So we're going to go ahead and get rid of that stealth device. It's broken. It's gone. And one shield, right? Indeed. All right. So Ken taking a pretty aggressive lead here, 49-0. to zero. And uh, he, Dooku's still got to do something here. Absolutely. I would not be surprised if this becomes 98-0 to zero here <laughs> in just a second when that fuel leak goes off. Oh, yeah. Here we go. IG onto Maul. Oh, nothing there. There's no mods. Terrible. He's got nothing. Sorry. Iman's going to be going into Dooku. Checking range. Range two. That's quite unfortunate. Dooku's going to be able to get his focus action. Here we go. Range two, also nothing. Absolute nothing. I mean, Tyler's dice going absolutely cold at the yeah. wrong moment. Averages say you get at least one yep. on those. I mean, they're unlikely to go through with the mods that they do have, but Indeed. you at least at least feels good when you now, get Duke when you get one. firing a second proton torpedo. Did miss an opportunity there to spend his last force, perform a focus action to get full mods for this shot, but he does still have two hits, two blanks, re-rolling that go. into Got four. It. Got it, baby. Doesn't need it. That's. Let's see what these dice are. But this might be a dead Emon. He's gone. I think that, yeah, that's, well. Oh, he's got one. Because we, we got two, hit, a hit, crit, crit the fuel plus leak, one. If that's a direct hit. Let's, let's see what it is. So he's going to be down to one. Unless it's a direct hit. Blinded pilot. Blinded pilot, all right. Let's see a one hull Emon Azami. And then he should deal one more. There it is. Mm-hmm. So, of course, Ken wanted to. Man, I wish I would have got that off the table. Yep. But uh, Tyler, Tyler's got to try to try to use, get something out of Iman before he goes. Absolutely. And I, if you'll excuse me, I did actually make an error there. Uh, Dooku's ability to perform an action is after he performs an attack. That hits. Right. So this would be his opportunity to do so now. Obviously not doing that. Yeah, he, he can, him being the lowest initiative, he, there's no reason exactly. to use that one. He could reacquire a target lock, but he's spent all of his protons. He doesn't expressly need it next round. Uh, so how would you, if you were Tyler, how would you maximize Iman's limited life at this point? I mean, um, you have to try to put yourself in a spot where Maul can't shoot you. Right. That way you can shoot. But having the stress is what's really going to hurt him. Because uh -huh. ideally, if you weren't stressed, I think you would end up Hard one, you angle boost, and you mm -hmm. probably end up getting a shot on uh, 
on Ducor, you have a chance here, yep. and you would end up with the evade from IG-88C. Yep. Um, with, with that said, I think there's there, there's something to be said for uh, perhaps assuming, if you assume that um, Dooku might get out of there, you might be able to clear a three turn up towards the top of the board, go okay. for a block on Maul. Uh, it's possible, but it's a risky maneuver. Because, of course, if you are then blocked by Dooku, you get nothing. Good day, sir. A couple people are saying three straight boost and pray. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> Sure. Also an Absolutely. If, I mean, if that if that does pan out for him, then there is an opportunity for a proton yep. bomb the next round. Now it is it is uh, it is required that when the first ship does leave the table, we must pay respects. Indeed. Okay. So don't forget, chat. Okay. Not yet. It's don't not too not soon. Not yet. Don't be pressing F yet. Not yet. But it's only for the first ship. All the other yes. ships don't matter. <laughs> <laughs> Hear that, IG88? <laughs> you don't matter. Mr. Kevin, too soon. Too, too soon. soon. Mods, ban him. <laughs> I'm, that's a joke. I'm joking. I'm joking. Please, <laughs> Please don't ban him. Don't do that. <laughs> I'll hit F whenever I want. 515 people watching. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. It's so fantastic to see Denver get a great, well-attended, well-watched event. After years of getting just nothing and nothing and nothing and nothing. I mean, you guys are up here in the mountains. Yeah. It, it's it's hard. Your airport is in the it's middle so of nowhere. That, we were just actually discussing that. Me and Dee and Andrew Seeley were discussing that on the way home from the airport last night. It's so hard to get to a venue from the airport that that's, right. like, that's the limiting factor. Yep. Flights are cheap enough. You know, accommodations are cheap enough, but it's... Like, you got to get there. Like it's we were a flying miles outside. I, I saw we were descending, right? I was, yep. we, were, we were descending. I'm like, oh, we're in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. This is weird. Uh, we're, maybe maybe we have to like nowhere. maybe there's like turbulence somewhere, so yeah. we're being safe. And like all of a sudden, I'm like, oh, that's that's the ground. <laughs> Jeff Wilder asking, how do you think the altitude is affecting our athletes here today? <laughs> you know, we have oxygen standing by. Exactly. You know, always ready to go. Mm. Um, we'll we'll make sure to we take have, care of them. We have trained and dedicated Sherpas here. Just ready to step in if anybody starts to collapse from lack of oxygen. <laughs> now, IG-88C, if we could get back to the game. Yes. I um, think we'd see a sloop or something a little bit more. Yeah, advanced sensors focus. Or double calculate. Double you know, calculate, sure. Take that sloop. I think that's his best option right now, yep. just to be able to get right in behind somebody. Here comes a probe droid. Just coming in to be annoying right now. Yep. Because it's not really extending much range right now. Ready to provide assistance if needed. All right. Ken moved. Uh, Tyler doesn't have any options to drop bombs. Uh, but there's a seismic charge coming out from Count Dooku. All right. Dooku's got one. So that Always probably, forget about that. That probably <laughs> means that uh, that Ken's going to be nowhere near or, or that he area. Is. Or he just he eats just, it? Yeah. I mean, he's got a, he's got a couple hull shields to spare. You know, he's he's in a position where he can eat it if he needs to. There is a two sloop towards the top of the board from Count Dooku. Beautiful. Gives you... Remember the jump master. <laughs> <laughs> I try very best hard not to. <laughs> All righty, here comes Iman. That is also a red maneuver of some kind. That is the like advanced IGC sensors boost. First advanced sensors boost. Where is he going? That looks like a sloop. It looks like it to me. Hard to tell. Probably towards the bottom of the board, I'm guessing. Yeah, I mean, I, I would have kept him there, keep him closer. Yeah. He might be out of range for shots. Which might, like, right now, Tyler's win condition is he just needs to have as much guns on target right. as possible. Yep. He needs to get some half points. He needs to get something. And... and Slooping out that far is really not going to accomplish that. And here comes Iman, seeing what his options are. And three that, straight three. boost and pray. <laughs> <laughs> <which> <laughs> like we're it be called it, chat. The chat <laughs> called it. Three <laughs> straight boost and pray. Tyler taking a second. Yeah, There's the boost. The the making, making sure he keeps that arc on target. Yep. I get it. In case Maul doesn't turn around, you know.
with 33 minutes left in the game. Here comes Darth Maul. Looks like he's going to be taking a turn down towards the left-hand side of the board. Uh-oh. A little flash. We got it. We got it. We lost. We lost what the table. Lost? Oh, no. That's three. I'm so sorry. That's actually not good at all. No. I'll be right back. Uh, in the meantime, can we go to top, see if that's still there? Yep, go for it. All right, we still got our above cam, so that is good. Dion running away to check all of our connections. Springing right in action. Darth Maul taking a one bank down towards the bottom of that board. We have seen the uh, we've seen the gas cloud already preemptively removed. One damage in from that seismic charge. We'll go on to Maul as soon as we get our video back up. Maul taking a range two shot into Iman Azami. There we go. We've got our table back. Maul's range two shot. Just landing one hit. We've got the one evade from Iman. And with Natty's, that will definitely be fine. I think we got one shield off of Maul when he uh, got hit by that, uh, that seismic. Sweet. Got it. I guess that's the other benefit of having another camera when something yeah. like that goes on. <laughs> <laughs> Never leave home without an extra camera. Comes Here we go. Ken's Two hits. Second shot from Maul. Yep. Able to do that against the same target because he did miss. That's going to do even it. Even with the one, even with one evade there, that's one damage. And did you know that shooting twice me. helps? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> so that's going to be the last damage there. And uh, Ken's going to be ahead 98 to 0. Pretty decisive lead at this point. I mean, people people guessed it, right? They said yeah. they said early on that they thought Ken had the advantage. It's a little chilly in here. It's just that crisp, clean mountain air. Is that what it is? That's what killed the stream, too. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't have enough to breathe. Ah. F, and there come in the Fs. There you go. And here is IG88C. Hit crit going into Maul. Solid unmodified shot. One and that's going to be one. We'll strip the one more shield. Seven hole, one shields left. Not quite half points. Is this going to be a situation where Tyler's going to struggle to even pull off half? Yeah, I mean, for uh, I'm when it comes to competitions like this. I'm a fan of trying to play it out and just see how much you can get for the sake of practice. Absolutely. Like, you don't get to play many tournament games, and when you're in this situation, you say, you know what, let me let me try to, uh, to stay focused up, see what I can do, how many yep. points can I get. You just try to push your ship as far as it can go. Exactly. That, that way you're learning the limits. And uh, a, a loss here does not mean that Tyler is out of day two, is out of the cut. Uh, Going what four and two will get you there? Is has to be five and one today. Five and one. Five and one. Players are at five and one. Get into day two, followed by a single elimination all the way to the championship. Exactly. Uh, I see a couple people. I saw somebody ask about um, having your vote. For the poll affect the uh, our giveaways, there's actually no way currently for me to do that. Like, yes, I can see the votes, but it doesn't actually document them for right. me. It just s totals up the total. So, uh, cool idea, honestly. Yeah. So, if somebody can figure out how to program that, and you want to get it to us for free, <laughs> um, we can we can make that happen. You know, get all the the, the Twitch API and all the stuff. Um, yeah, that'd be great. Here comes the probe droid, two straight, just heading towards the center of the board. Again, not much of a factor right now, but if there is an inst instance where it can be effective, closer to the action is where that will be. Count Dooku likely just doing a short maneuver here. One bank hitting Darth Maul. But with all of his force yeah, back, he he's doesn't got, really need action at like, this point. He's like, oh, I don't have mods. Oh, wait, yes, I do. Oh, no. I got mods. <laughs> Kencho lining it up. Mm -hmm. Ken is using customized Curl Paw Creative templates. Mm -hmm. 
for his own store, District Foundry. That's right. And I do want to remind you guys, all the coupon codes this weekend are Denver19. Hit up that uh, 20%, 20% off of Curl Paw Creatives uh, for orders of $15 or more. To bank from my uh, I'm coming in. He's coming in hot, as hot as he possibly can. He's thinking about his actions here. I mean, is there a uh, detriment to just double calculate? No, no. You, you, you just, you kind of really wish you had barrel roll. Right. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Two calculates. Yep. You just want to give yourself in a position where you have shots. Right. Uh, Maul's most likely going to be in your arc, even with the five k. Oh, five k. He might squeeze. Might, might squeeze out. out. But at the same time. Yeah, well, Maul is the one that's got fewer shields, so that's where you want to take your yeah. shots. He's also the most susceptible to actually taking damage. Mm -hmm. Dooku's a real tough nut to crack. He's also the one with the proton torpedo still in the can, so if you can deny that in some way, then you've got yourself a little bit more of an advantage. Yep. And we are going to be doing our giveaways at the end of the round. It's super easy to participate. You literally just have to be in the chat. That's it. Doesn't matter who you are, what you are, where you are. Just be in the chat. Or how you are. Or how you are. No, it doesn't matter how you are. You have to be happy to win. You also got to follow directions. Actually, that's true. <laughs> you got to follow directions. Because Very specifically, the yeah, directions of be active in chat. I would. Be active in chat, and then I'm going to tell you guys how to claim your prize, and if you don't follow those directions, you won't get them. That's pretty much how it goes. There was uh, a couple people, we'll talk about it more when we get to giveaways, who unfortunately will not be getting their prizes because they didn't follow the directions. And it was one of those where, and it's just because of the, the time it takes to get off everything going. It's like, hey, if it's not in the right format, got to go. IG88C blocking Dooku's two turns, a pilot left. Excuse me, Maul's two turn. Ken lining it back up again. We're going to see, we're going to see uh, Do or Maul and, uh, excuse me, sorry, I can't talk. Uh, Dooku and IG88C exchange shots this round. <laughs> too chivalrous for this saying I got my prize because I followed directions <laughs> you should put that on a shirt <laughs> <laughs> next GSP shirt Come yes in. I got my prize because I followed directions all right here we Coming go for my GDHC oh, two no. focuses in a blank and I have to burn both those calculates if you want to get I mean he, to get you, you gotta you gotta swing for the you fences baby to. you've got to try he's to being, get half he's being conservative he's being but this conservative. is not the opportunity for that Dooku's shot coming back. Much more effective going to force focus for a hit crit. And, and there's quite enough focuses yep. back so that he can get out of that scot free. But again, he's the one that needs to be getting damage through. Mm -hmm. And Ken's going to be firing here what looks to be range two from Dooku. He's asking, make sure double shot. Uh, we, we just saw already that did it. shot. Sorry. Yeah, we just saw that shot. He is uh, cleaning up, and we're going <coughs> back to dial. <laughs> You're not going to. Are you? Are you did, we're going to be doing this for at least better. ten rounds. <laughs> are you really going to do this for every planning phase? Absolutely, <laughs> Dion. I'm. So, I hope you know what you agreed to when you let me come on. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've made a huge mistake. <laughs> PJ Broughton saying, I want to shoot off Twitch stream and then arrive because I follow the directions. That's right, everybody. When Dion announces those giveaways, do follow directions to claim your prize. It's the only way that you're going to be able to get those. <laughs> T. Constantine, thank you so much for subbing. All right, guys. So with 24 minutes left, um, I mean, Ken just got to keep pressing in his, his advantage, right? You probably end up doing the 5K here. Yep. Keep him in arc. Because um, I'm, I'm expecting a sloop at this point. Yeah. You know, coming back around there. I mean, I don't think there's anything wrong probably with disengaging with Dooku this turn. Right. Tr turn around and say, hey, you know what? You might get the backside for one turn. Uh, we, then, you, then you turn it around. He, I mean, he could also just sloop again. Like, there's, there's, there's nothing wrong with that either. Um, just keeping the pressure on. He does, with, with, with Dooku having a couple extra shields to spare, he does have the opportunity here to just put a lot of damage in and get that 200-0. And, you know, this game's going to come down to what I talked about earlier today. The risk with the fire sprays is Absolutely. getting caught in corners. Yeah, right? we actually and do have some There's chat. somebody talking yeah, about it. Good game till Iman got caught in the corner. That's exactly what we were afraid mm -hmm. of uh, when we saw Iman start running away there. There is the two sloop from Count Dooku. Very nice, very nice. Keeping those arcs live. Exactly. 
Yeah, there wasn't, once he got down there, there wasn't really a lot that he could do. We just saw him evaporate in a couple of shots. You're absolutely right. Fire sprays really like to be in the middle of the board. Mm -hmm. And they slew the force from IG88C. Advanced sensors calculate. Whoosh. Chat's got some great stuff right now. Yep, yep. <laughs> you only get that live. I won't uh -huh. repeat some of those. No. <laughs> <laughs> all righty. And, and we're just seeing sloops. Yep. Ken correctly calling all of the uh, IGD-8C sloops. I would love to have seen uh, him put down a target lock earlier with Maul there, but and there wasn't you know, really an opportunity. Wasn't really yeah. an opportunity. It's possible. I mean, last turn it did look like he used Seasoned Navigator to get the two-turn bump. Uh, it's possible he could have cleared and then, then had the opportunity to, to, to keep that butt. Here we go. Range two from Maul into IGC. That's Natties, Natties baby. Yep. Two hits and a crit. Nat IG <laughs> Natties! <laughs> Natties on oh, Natties. Well, here comes... <laughs> and, well, okay, so nobody's burned any of their mods. Here comes Maul's second <laughs> shot. Like, Do it again! <laughs> This is, all right, this is a real shot this time. There, there we go. Hit focus blank. Force that <laughs> for two hits. And IGC will be able to spend one count. Can take one there. He is, he is considering that. I mean, he's, he's in a position right now where I could definitely see him taking both of those, just trying to get that half points on Maul. But he does spend one calculate. Just he's looking for more natties. Down. Yep. He's looking for more. Symmetrical variance right Coach there. Symmet <laughs> <laughs> Correct. <laughs> Nobody can complain about that. Nope. Not even All the right. most diehard user of the dice app. Tyler, <laughs> Tyler looking uh, at his options. Maul is, I think it's Maul going, is yeah, the correct choice right here. The closest one you got going to yep. half. Oh, if only he had saved one of those calculates. Then you, spe you spend it here. Spend one, yes, of course. He is saving it, though. He's going that conservative route. <laughs> it does go through one shield. It works. Shields are down on Maul. Mm -hmm. But not quite to half points yet. And he's using Palpatine here to double stress him. That's so rough. That's locked him down. Uh -huh. No I more sloops for the next couple turns. Absolutely. He's, he's just got to come in, try to bump onto one of them, and hope a shot uh, comes in from the set or comes in towards the second. Here's Dooku shot two crits. And he's got it. He's got it. Yep. So Tyler Being conservative Everton, there on, 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 on offense worked out. It's, it's preempting a lot of damage, but again, if he wants to get points for any sort of MOV play here, he's got to just get, he's got to get Maul down to half. That's closest. He's worth the most points. Mm -hmm. And MOV, so the way it works in this, um, this event, basically, in order to get into the cut, the only thing that really matters is your, your record. Right. MOV doesn't matter unless you make the cut then it determines seeding, and if we right. have, uh, you know, uh, we don't if we don't have a uh, a power of 16, right? Mm -hmm. That's probably wrong phrasing. Sorry, I'm not a math guy. Right. Uh, if, if like you know, <laughs> if 32, 16, if the, if we're not at those variations, mm -hmm. the people at the very top are going to start getting buys, and people who are at the bottom of that list are going to have be forced to play single eliminations to get into those standard brackets. Right. So MOV doesn't matter nearly as much, but it still has a small effect. Yep. Um, so that's definitely something that you that you want to be cognizant of. And even if this wasn't a system open, it's still a good play yeah. to make the right decision there and mm -hmm. go for the MOV. Uh, two bank with the droid heading right back up towards the center of the board. It's been very it's out, out of everything yep. just hanging out this game. Just hanging in space going wah, 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 wah. <laughs> We have another seismic charge, it looks like, coming out from Dooku. I like that if uh, IG does decide to try to bug out, we've got that debris cloud mm -hmm. down there, the foot cloud, the, the foot. Uh, which will explode and be able to give him give him some some extra damage. I like it, yeah. We got the, we got the foot out there. Mm -hmm. We got the potato and the bacon. Yeah. I, I hear that. That's the pickle. That's a bacon, man. Look at the color. It's bacon. It's, it's bacon. It's a pickle. It's bacon. An ice cream cone, but it, do, it doesn't ice look. Cream scoop, it's a, it's and a, a crab pickle, claw. It's a it's a pickle. It's a chili pepper pepper, and it's a gas cloud. 
Oh, you, you Denver people, <laughs> what are you doing? There's get, a three bank from IG. Just trying to get some one space. Of the stress. Yep, getting some space. space. It looks like he will get past Dooku. Will it be in range one of that exploding debris cloud? If only we had a more advantageous view to check. And we'll take a look once Tyler backs up just a smidge. Yeah, that's range one. I think one. so, yeah. That, that's pretty solidly range one. Now, the thing that I do like about that, even if he is going to take one damage from that exploding debris, debris cloud, is that there is no way for Maul to get arc on him this round because he can't sloop because he is stressed. And there's a hole now with the debris cloud gone, a hole open top side of the board for IG to escape to uh, preserve some points or angle for a more favorable engagement yep. in a couple turns. Big thank you to Ragefield for the 400 bits. All right, Ken taking a look here at his options. Chat's with me. It's a chili pepper. <laughs> <laughs> no. You know what? We'll put it, we'll put it on the stream we'll poll. Put a, yeah, we'll put it on You know what? <laughs> they're going to vote for you just to smite me. That, that's exactly where they're like, oh, we're going to go with this no, co you know what? You know what? We'll tell you this. We don't need to take up your valuable stream time. If you have an opinion on what these are, are they pickles? Are they crab claws? Are they chili peppers? Right. You send an email send to... Send an email to feedback at backtodials.com right. here. Let's just go ahead and write that up there on the stream <laughs> so that everybody can tell. Oh, I, I just messed You're that bad. up. So You're bad. bad. I'm bad at my you own lost job. It. All righty, so it looks like he... Um, Maybe a one bank, something like that. Season navigator to a one straight. Yes. Right? Uh, Maul will take a damage as well. Mm -hmm. So we are now very close to half points on Maul. I think he just has to get one more damage in there for half point threshold. Bacon pickled chili pepper. I'm into that. Oh, God. I hate pickles. Maybe that's just why I, I really. Actually, I do, too. Yeah. I mean, I hate gas clouds, so maybe that's me just projecting. True. My true. hatred for pickles onto the gas clouds. Well, we did get information from the dev saying that if they if they notice that competitive play goes this way where, like, all right, gas clouds are, are super dumb over right. time, they have the ability to change it with, they do. with the rules reference. So mm -hmm. uh, changing of an obstacle and its use is not unheard of and it's mm -hmm. definitely possible. IGC is still stressed, so we're going to see likely an escape maneuver. Yep. Um, P Warrior Double Zero asking if we have any resources for finding starter builds. There's tons of people out there who talk about uh, squad yeah. building. We back to dials does on their podcast, the Gold Squadron podcast. We talk about it. Uh, we actually take submissions on our Discord. If you have lists that you have out there. Um, but basically, my suggestions for beginners when playing is go as few upgrades as possible right. so you can it's, focus on ship movement. You know what's excellent? You did mention that you had four TIE Fighters and a TIE Advance. That is a perfect That's squadron a right, right there. there. Inferno Squadron and Darth Vader. An excellent way to start playing with a, <laughs> a fairly powerful squadron. Yeah. Three bank from IG going right through Darth Maul and D trying to escape towards the top side of that board. Will we see a boost of A? There it yep. is. <laughs> I want to get out of stress. town. So Tyler here, I really like how Tyler's playing. because He's still practicing. He's like, right. you know what? I might not have this game, but I'm going to use the time and make it valuable. Exactly. You never want to just stop playing, especially round one, because if you just stop playing and scoop, you are never going to get any valuable information mm -hmm. about potential deficiencies or advantages that your yep. list might have. Absolutely. And again, five and one can make the cut. Tyler is not out of this tournament. Not at all. all. Not at all. No shots, and we recommence the planning phase. Four out of six obstacles are destroyed here. Those seismic charges have been extremely present this game. All right, 13 minutes left in the round. I want to thank everybody who's joining us from around the world. Super excited to be here. 527 beautiful souls out there. Thank you so much for watching. Now, if we take a peek here, we can actually see who's watching on, who's winning right now. Looks like we have oh, 300. Twitch, uh, three, Twitch all the way. 345 now. We have 182 people watching on YouTube. YouTube people, I love you. I love you, but... I will tell you, if you want to win prizes and stuff, come watch on Twitch. That's that's where we do it. 
That's where we have all that stuff integrated. And if you are interested in looking, we've got a couple uh, a couple of questions in the chat about other players on the list, specifically Brack Lee. Is he playing the same list that he flew on stream in Wyoming? Uh, all those lists are available on Best Coast Pairings yep, you right can take a now. Look. Three turn hard up towards the top of the board from Count Dooku. Just see a focus looking for a shot. Yep. I mean, he's got a, he's got a target lock out there already, so yep. easy. <laughs> Somebody says, boom, I'm here back on Twitch. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody else says this makes me want to get double infiltrators. Double infiltrators this is a really very good. solid list. Uh, as we saw in the in the Cheyenne stream, though, it is very possible for them to get outflanked, lose arc, and then all of that power does go out the window. So Ken is playing this really, really well, keeping arcs on target when he needs to, being very smart about his cloak and stress management on Dooku, uh, making sure that he's able to, to keep firing every single turn that mm -hmm. he needs to. All right. So Ken, with him clearing out some of that center with seismic charges early earlier, uh, has a pretty good straight line here to uh, IG that, turn. Using that droid now that we that we disparaged earlier That's on, right. uh, letting him get a target lock out play beyond range three. You, Tyler can't shoot it, indeed, and that looks like like, like exactly what he's going to try to do here. Oh, hey, there's a so very spend nice them. shot. Suspending both. He's got to roll natties here to yep. keep the probe alive, and, and it's he gone. does not. That probe Poof. explodes. Has only one hole. Easy. Now, when you're in the mix, it's always interesting to see people who, I, most of the time, it's a wrong choice to shoot at the probe droid right. when you're in the, in, in the whole mix because you want to shoot things that are shooting you. Because <laughs> that's how you win the game. You get zero points for killing a probe droid. This mm -hmm. is a perfect chance for Tyler to get it off the board, and he did. Right. Because it doesn't cost them anything. So this is a good point. We've got a question in the chat. Um, this is the first game that we've seen. There's two, uh -huh. two ship lists yep. on this table. Uh, is that indicative of the rest of the meta, or are these two outliers? N no. You know, there's um, – honestly, I feel like there's a lot of variance in, in the number of ships out there right now, we're seeing anything from two to five yeah. be really good. So I, I don't think it's – this archetype, the double infiltrators, is definitely something that's really powerful. I feel like, and I feel like this is the two-ship yeah. list. If there is a two-ship list in extended, mm -hmm. this is it. Before we had Boba Fett and Gurry. doesn't quite yep. fit anymore with completely kitted out. So that's why we don't see that anymore. But uh, two really powerful ships can definitely do work against – other, you know, ones yeah. that are, are working on efficiency. As we are, of course, seeing to great effect right here with 10 minutes left in the round. Ken with a commanding lead. Just a one straight forward from Dooku looking for those shots. I'm sorry, I said 2-5. to five. I meant 2-6 to because can't forget about Tie Swarms. Red yeah. barrel roll there from IG88. He's giving space to Maul. Uh -huh. Giving Maul some space. And if he does defend, he can take that stress right off. Two ship list. What about Fat Han? Of course, yes. That's that's a two ship. I guess want to talk about more the two ship list now. Tyler attempting to disengage right here. Three bank boost. I think that would have been a great maneuver if Dooku hadn't barrel roll. That's I'm not sure if he true. can get quite out of that at this point. Yeah, uh, the, th Although the even forward with boost, boost. He's still got to. I don't think so. I don't think a forward boost is yeah, going to clear that. Right. He's still got to boost right in there. In fact, he does. He He'll get He's a range for a one shot. shot. And that's not the target that he wants. Nope. If he wanted to disengage, I would have liked to see possibly a straight maneuver down here mm -hmm. and then trying to boost this way into Maul, get a block. And there's Maul calling that absolutely perfectly with, if I can't, yeah, you can go ahead and clear that for me because apparently I stink at that real hard. There's Malcon that absolutely perfectly three bank to pilot right. Mm -hmm. Focus, he's got the proton torpedo coming Here it in comes. range two. This is the last proton torpedo from Maul. Fantastic barrel roll from Count Dooku. And looks like we're missing lost a die. die. Or the box got moved, <laughs> which has happened before. Yep. Uh, he's he didn't fire the proton torpedo. Oh, he, he just didn't flip that charge. He's just firing primary. Okay. Two of eights, and no damage coming in. Nothing. Dumps two more force. Try it again. 
and spending the focus for the, three hits. There it is. Curious to know why Ken's holding on. To, oh, he doesn't have a target lock. That's why. He's, uh, I, thought he, I thought he did. Yeah. Excuse me. Yep. And that's gonna. he has to spend the evade to take only one damage. Yep. There's no reason not to. Evade is just when you have the opportunity to, yep. it's the same it's amount of damage. One damage is one damage. Yep. He might be thinking that he might be able to avoid a crit. A sing a si possible. One single crit, though. I mean, that's the. I, He's taking all of them. I guess he's trying to keep those. Duke up. That's probably that's, the other that's thing. That's true, although Duku's got full force. Yeah, I mean, I, really that's probably what he's thinking. It might just be one of those where, I mean, right, we're human. People make mistakes. Exactly. You forget and something, is, it happens. This is the practice that, that we're talking about there. He's getting that range one shot, though. Uh, two crits. One evade. He's just going to go ahead and take those both. Keep all three Keep force, all the force active. He wants to tar target, target lock full modded shot. Yep, he will, in fact, spend one of those to remove the stress. Great choice. Now Dooku's K-turns are open, and he's going to return fire with range one shot, four dice, fully modded. Boom. He's and gonna three. Lock it. He's going to have to lock at least one of those. Uh, he's going to hold on to the hold lock. Hold on to that. Three hits. There's one, two, spend, spend spend the evade. Evade three. A damage is a damage is a damage. That's right. So Tyler slowly picking away. You know, I'm curious to know, like, Tyler is in the last 20-ish minutes has had a higher rate of doing damage right. than Ken has. Mm -hmm. So obviously this is a time game, and I think that's really what's going to bite Tyler. But Tyler has been making some awesome decisions Absolutely. That, that if this was an untimed game, maybe at like a league night or something, uh -huh. might actually give him a chance to win. With that said, we only have six minutes left. And uh, with the focus that he's ended up putting on Dooku, he hasn't been able to get half points on Maul. Right. Um, so we might, I mean, we might see him come away with no points here, although this isn't the last round of the game. We mm -hmm. still have, I am assuming, some sloops coming in from yeah. a few ships and a, uh, another engagement from, from Maul on, uh, on IG. There's the two sloop from Dooku. Norvin555 asking, what is police brutality? Never heard of that list. Well, you're watching it right here. These double Sith infiltrators colloquially known as police brutality for excessive use of force. I'm not a fan of the name, so I'm not. We're not going to be using the name. Sure. Okay. Um, uh, five straight. Get four out straight. of town. Four K, baby. It is. Advanced sensors double calculate. Stressed on there. Mall coming in with a turn. Just two turn. Going to grab that target lock and. Smash IG-88 with that last Proton Torpedo. Yep. Yeah, I mean, that's... He's trying to put the nail in the coffin now. He's got the opportunity to do it. Proton Torpedo is nasty. There's that second lock. He's got two force to pair it with. Here we go. Range two. I wonder if Ken forgot that he has a Proton up. It's possible. I mean, it, <laughs> it happens, right? It, he could also be saving it for when he has target lock and focus. But he has he has the force. You got the force. I mean, he does. There's hit and a crit. Crit coming damage in. Damage engine. I mean, that's not too terrible for the IGs. I know. IGs rarely, uh, you know, using those banks a lot more than they utilize the, uh, than they utilize the turns. Yep. Tyler preparing to fire back, deliberating on targets. Again, I believe Maul would be Take the better Maul. choice here. Get him. Take that shot. He's just one damage away. Oh, hit, 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 there. hit crit. <laughs> there we go. That's what he needs right now. <laughs> you know, Tyler just trying to stay in this just game. Just rolling one die. We're going to uh, do, do uh, you spend a force to take a hit and a crit on the Hall of Maul. Yep. That's going to be half. He's got, he got half. Yep. Critical is console fire. And uses palp ability to, uh, that is equipped to Dooku, excuse me, Maul gets the stress. 
out there. So good. Palpatine is incredible. Especially on a ship with so much force. Oh, like yeah. Just being able to spam that out and still get so many options to you, use You it. look down and go, oh, I do have more force. I do have more <laughs> force left. <laughs> oh, look at me. Uh, we did also miss a hate trigger there. Ah. Uh, hate could have recovered two force. Very at true, that very point true. As well. In fact, I'm not, I'm, I, I think we've been missing hate triggers all game. I think I you're right. I haven't seen any, any come back. You're right. Ken hasn't really needed it, but it, it <laughs> it's worked <laughs> out. Yep. And this is this is one of those where one of my favorite. I know some people are skittish about playing on sc on stream. Mm -hmm. I actually really enjoy it for the fact that I can always go back and exactly. learn something from it. When the commentators rip me to shreds, then you know I can just <laughs> agree to them, agree with them, and agree to learn a little bit next time. Now yep. IG double stress is in a position where he's got to escape once again. Is it possible that Dooku could put in a nice block with a one bank, perhaps a roll? To, maybe, to perhaps block an escape maneuver off to the right there with a three bank? Or is that um, still might clear? Well, Dooku has to move first, and Maul's That's in the way. That's true. That's yeah. true. You make an absolute, you make a great point. All right. DJ Rackamuffins, learn a bunch of stuff from us. That's awesome. Thank you so much for watching. Welcome to X-Wing. All right, so here is Dooku, probably just a two bank, yep. relieve the stress. It's going to be close, but he's got it. He's got it. Mm -hmm. Seems legit. And we will see him perform that red cloak action. Just setting himself up. And a one bank, no escape maneuver from Maul right here, or from uh, IGC right here. Just a one bank chasing Dooku. I think he recognizes that if Maul decides to 5K, yeah. there's nothing he can do to get out of Correct. it. Correct. So he might as well just line himself up for a shot. And Maul. No 5K, we're seeing a two sloop attempt. Yeah, he's going to be on the side there. I think he's got yep. it. Got some good points from the chat. Sometimes it's also nice to find out that you are doing better than you thought you were on stream. <laughs> oh, it's, yeah. it's a nice fuzzy feeling that never happens to me, but that's okay. <laughs> I'm glad that some other people you get won on, to You won on, uh, on my stream in, in Cali. Yeah, but you were ripping me the whole time. Oh, of course. Because <laughs> it's you. Yeah. Because you threw out a bunch of back to dial stickers as soon as you got to the table. So I was like, oh, nope, nope, no nice words. No nice words for Asa. All right, Darth Maul, range one on Duke, or on uh, IGC. I always keep Oof, calling him Dooku. Four, three. he's got. Of course, he's got one he's got left. One. He's going to go ahead and spend that target lock. Oh, <laughs> oh man. Oh. I hate when that happens. You go, oh, hi, Maul. Yep. Time Tomorrow, is up, by the way. This is the final this round. This is it. Yeah, he's going to be taking two. He takes it down. That's two. That's, That's, it. That's it. That is the game. Unless we're missing something. Mm-hmm. Yep, there it is. That's There's the handshake. handshake. Well, thank you so much to Ken and Tyler for playing. You guys are absolutely fantastic. We're going to get to our round one giveaways. All right, how's it going, everybody? My name's Dio Morales, and he's Ace of Graph of the yes, best. I am. <laughs> now, you know, I will tell you, when you gave me the sticker, I was super yeah. confused because I was doing this. I was doing this. <laughs> okay. Right. You look at it. You go. Oh, look. You peel it on the edge. No. The white part is part of the sticker. Guess, guess how. Guess how many times more expensive round cut <laughs> I stickers. I know are. They, they really are. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So for round one, we hit. Let's see. We are. We're at forty. So, oh well. Then ISO fan went and did his right. thing, right? Which was plus. It, what's what's four? You know what? Four, we can just we can just do that. One hundred and twenty over or four hundred over five, right? Right. Yeah. Four hundred or five. That added another 80. eighty. So we are at one hundred and twenty. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it! All right. Thank you. Thank you for giving Dion a lot more work to do. So, okay. So we got. Oh, jeez. I don't know if we're gonna have time to do all that stuff. We might have to save some of it for round two. Okay. Alrighty. So, um, for round one, we got four different cards here. Plus, we'll do a couple of the uh, the stretch goals. 
Sound fair? Why not? All righty. So, um, Asa, what's the first one? The first Pick round one. Of, first round of these. Oh, you know what? This Finch Dallow card is looking pretty incredible. There you go. Finch Dallow in the Resistance Bomber, the Star Fortress, Gold Squadron Podcast promo. All you got to do is... Uh, Remember to listen to the instructions now. Listen to the instructions. I'm going to give the instructions before we give it away uh, as you guys are, are chatting away here. Uh, -dup 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 -dup. Oops. One second. There you go. It'll populate. So... When you've won, if you've won, what you got to do is you type exclamation point win. A link will pop up in the chat. You click that. There is a Google Doc, okay? It takes you step by step. If you're in the U.S., okay, if you're in the U.S., click U.S., and it'll take you to a form where it has line by line how to fill it out. If you're international, in different countries, the addresses are formatted differently. Right. So make sure, and I have like line one, line two, put it in the lines because I populate it in a spreadsheet and it just, it goes onto the envelopes so I can get it out quickly because I don't have time to be going through everybody's address. Uh, what happened in a couple of the other ones for the, the last... Um, the last event, we had it in a single field and people weren't putting in the spaces. So it ended up, and I told you guys to put it in the spaces, uh, and it basically did a, an entire line. And I was doing this mass, right? So I was stamping, throwing things yep. in, and putting in the mail, and I got like four of them back because they were all just a single line. And the post office was like, no, bro. We don't know what to do with Yeah, this. exactly. So I try to make it so that it's as accident-proof as possible. Mm -hmm. All right. There's only so much you can do. That's so right. So follow those instructions. Follow the instructions. Exclamation point win. Okay. Here we go. Let's um, do this. Let's do a little bit of that. And do that. All right. Given this time to populate. All right. Again, the only thing you have to do to be a part of this giveaway just is type in chat. just type in chat. Now, I will say that subscribers are more lucky. Right. I do have to address that. All right, we're good. We're good. John Conley holding it down. Oh, yes. All right. All right, Asa, so this is how this goes. I mm -hmm. press the button, you say the name. All right, I think I can do this. Here we go. Three, two, one. Ulfric 1066, congratulations for winning this Finch Dallow card. Go ahead and type exclamation point win in the chat for a link on how to claim your prize. Next, we have uh, a card from the Onyx Squadron. That's a squadron in Australia. We have Iden Versio. Beautiful okay. card. Let's it's also important this. for you to remember your prize, what you win. Yes. That's, you have to type that in there too, okay? <laughs> what did you win? All right. Um, Iden Versio, next winner is 3, 2, 1. Tora 58666, that's Tora 58666. Congratulations for winning your Iden Versio card. Type exclamation point win. All righty. Speaking of exclamation point win, good job, Ken. C congrats, Ken. <laughs> and then we have uh, the Proton Torpedo. Very much uh, showed off in this oh, game, right? Proton mm -hmm. Torpedo. This is an official FFG alt art. You know, because when you flip it over here, it's back, it's upside down, right? They should have, like this way, makes it so that it's not upside down, but this way is upside down. I really <laughs> wish the cards flipped this way, Asa. Like, it really bothers the me. The config cards do, but, you know, you can only have so much. So sad. Anyway, here we go. All Three, right. Two, one, protons, bam. Travis Smithwick, congratulations. That's Travis Smithwick in chat. Go ahead and type exclamation point when you've got yourself a proton torpedo. Now, before we do the last one, do want to say that our giveaways are brought to you by District Foundry. Use that code DENVER19 to get 15% off of anything. They got all kinds of stuff. I want to show off one of the things, one of their feature items. In These that, boxes are actually really incredible. Probably the most compact way to store an entire list that absolutely. I have seen. They fit inside a standard size with one of those mini lunch, lunch boxes. Yes, yes. If you can find one of those with like Empire Strikes Back on it or Return of the Jedi, you can find those at like Targets everywhere. Oh yeah, it is phenomenal. So it's really good on uh, for tournaments because it is so mm -hmm. compact. You did see uh, Ken using it. You can get the cover customized with which, which, which what with whatever you want. If you have a, like a line drawing of your face, you can even put it on there, all right? Yeah. <laughs> Whatever feels good. Um, this one we're going to be giving away tomorrow after the final, okay? Uh, it has all kinds of layers here. There's for your ships. And you might be like, oh, it only does small bases. No, no this it thing does is, not. It does everything. This thing is so cool. Like, you see the different levels there? That gets you ability to hold medium and large base ships, those little tabs that come up. Super Very awesome. Very intelligently designed. You also got your template trays, everything you need there, and then your little pocket 
for uh, for all your doodads, and he did come out with a bigger one. He does for that that has two compartments in it for hangar bay lists. Like if you're going to a system open, yep. uh, something like this, you have one list to play your day one with, two lists for your day two hangar bay. You've, he's got you covered. Yep, he's got you covered. Den Ken is also I almost called him Den because yeah. he is local to Denver. So we're in Denver here. You're supporting a local business. Use that coupon code Denver19. And another item, uh, this is new in his shop that yep. they've come out with is the hyperspace rings yeah all right hyperspace Incredible. rings a beautiful printed in resin very very nice and uh we're going to be giving that away as well during round six so thank you to district foundry all mm -hmm. right our last car that we're giving away here is a little bit of a meme car a little fun oh, fun here those. so uh it's dion morallo <laughs> okay and if you haven't seen um my wisdom teeth video that's where this screenshot is taken from um I'll just say enjoy. Go go find it. Type in wisdom teeth into our, our YouTube invalid. and you'll you will you'll enjoy that. So let's see who gets Dion Morallo. Dion Morallo. Roll it. Three, two, one. The Mr. Kevin, congratulations. The Mr. Kevin. The one and only Mr. Kevin. <laughs> Exclamation point win. Congratulations. We have more giveaways, more and more, in fact, as the day and days go on, coming after every single round. Well, we, so stay tuned. Let's hit more of those stretch let's goals. Let's do some of those stretch goals. So um, we, let's we're go. We're at 50 and 90. Yeah, let's go ahead and do, we're, we're going to do right now, we're going to go ahead and do the wedges and the Minoc um, ones, and we'll get to the other ones next because we're going to get round two started here pretty soon. We don't want to yep. miss any of the action. Okay, so we're, here we go. These are four. We have two wedge cards, okay? So we're two different giveaways that we're doing. So here we go. Let's go ahead and do that. Mr. Kevin says he never won anything in his life. Congratulations. Woo! I'm telling you, people are like, I never win. Listen, the street, the all you got to do. changes lives, Dion. That's, that's what we're here to do. All right, here we go. Three, uh, this is for wedge card number one. Mm -hmm. Three, two, one. R Beck 1021, that's R B E C H 1021. You've won yourself a wedge card type exclamation point win in that chat. He said, Look, pick me, pick me. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> I did, I did. There it is. Done. There it is. That's all you have to do. Congratulations. <laughs> we got one more. Let's Second do this. one. Number two. Three, two, one. Zenturion 89, that's Zenturion with a Z 89. You've won the second wedge card exclamation point win in chat. And you can get that sent out to you as soon as Dion has time and is busy. busy Correct. Life. The the estimation, and this is in in the. There's more instructions in the Google Doc. Uh, basically, shipping time can be four to six weeks. Especially, I am in this gauntlet of right. uh, of events. Literally, the next all the next weekends, we got stuff coming up. If you look on the wait screen, the schedule comes up. It's kind of crazy. All the stuff we got going. Um, now we got the Minoc binder. Okay, this is gonna be the last yep. one for this round. Um, and we get we're gonna do more of the stretch goals later.